Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more. Well, and for make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. It was lunchtime and the old man had not sold enough to buy something to eat. He kept pushing the pallet cart with what little strength he had left. The sun was inclement and that day he had to sell whatever it was because he had to pay his daughter. Because if he was not able to drive him out of the house, he said that the old man was a hindrance. Don Noel is a hardworking man. He had three children with his wife Talita. The Lord gave everything so that his children lacked absolutely nothing. But his old age was being sad because his daughter Pamela had taken over the house and charged him for everything. Don Noel worked all his life in the ice cream factory, in the plant where those delicious flavored popsicles collaborated. When he retired, he thought he was finally going to lead a less busy life. However, Dona Talita fell ill and he had to assist her. Pamela was the youngest of their children and the other two lived abroad. They were always aware of their parents and sent them money to support them. A stroke showed Dona Talita, so her daughter offered to take care of her. The attitude surprised her parents because she'd always been indifferent towards them. However, Don Noel was complete with the news because he got very tired of doing everything in the house and also taking care of his wife. Pamela moved into the house with her parents. They were amazed that she had agreed. However, not everything was rosy as the woman took her parents from the main room and sent them to a small room. After a week, Don Noel saw with great concern that his daughter and son-in-law were lazy at home. The girl took care of her mother and cleaned the house, but the rest of the day she didn't even want to cook. She demanded money from her father to buy food from restaurants, and many times she would not give her to eat. The woman was very skilled at persuading, so she convinced Don Noel to sign a power of attorney for her to become the attorney for his retirement. The old man did it, and from there began his downfall. Well, giving his daughter all the confidence really cost him quite a bit. The remittances that the other children sent, she also withdrew. Pamela took over Don Noel's pension and did not give him money, even for his medications. So the old man ended up on an emergency stretcher because the pressure was fully compensated. The old man is more affected by feeling without money because he could not even buy anything for his wife. He was used to their great independence, but since they were in Pamela's hands, he felt quite overwhelmed. Dad, you should relax. I don't know what to worry about if I sacrifice myself by leaving my house to see you guys. And I see you worried anyway, said the woman to the old man. The old man answered absolutely nothing. She only remained looking at the doctor, who understood the look of the tormented man. When they took him home, the woman was scolding him all the way. He told her that he liked to attract attention and that it was the last time he was going to tolerate her doing shows in public. Don Noel was not silent about her, and inside he was meditating on what he could do to not continue under the control of his daughter. The days passed and Dona Talita began to grow worse, which distressed Don Noel more because he didn't know how he's going to face life without his great love. Man, I feel bad, but it hurts to leave you in the hands of Pamela. Our daughter is not good. I don't know why you gave her the power to handle your pennies. The little money is bare. One should not give to anyone unless there's no other solution, said the lady. Daughter, things are hard sometimes. I don't know when I allowed myself to be convinced by her to give her my pension. But now not even crying is good, Don Noel answered. When Dona Toledo needed a doctor, the woman closed herself up and argued with her dad. I'm not going to call a doctor because it's crazy. This lady has no remedy and there's no point in wasting money paying a doctor. So please stop bothering and better go take care of her. I'm watching my soap opera and I don't want you to keep interrupting me, Pamela exclaimed. Look, Pamela, I'm not asking you for anything because the doctor is going to pay with my money. The money that you were supposed to administer and I see you spend on everything except me. It's unfair that you don't even want to pay a doctor for your own mother. If it costs you absolutely nothing, I demand that you call the doctor. If you don't want me to make a fuss, the man replied very angrily. Furious, Pamela was going to call the doctor when the lady started calling her husband. He ran to her side, took her hand and told her to be calm, that everything would be fine. The old woman squeezed his hand and begged him to please not let the daughter stay home because she really didn't treat him well. They were both crying when she suddenly breathed her last. The woman took care of the funeral expenses. She received all the aid that the neighbors and the former bosses of Don Noel sent and did not let them deliver anything to the old man. On the day of the funeral, the woman arrived, 
changed and went shopping with her husband. They ate in a fine restaurant, and when they returned home, they found Don Noel crying. Man, what are you doing here? You should be in bed by now, said Pamela. I'm sad. I'm not sleepy, and I need to eat something. But there's nothing in the fridge. The truth is that I did not buy anything for you, so you can go to sleep now. I wait now because I will not go looking for her. Noel went to his room with uncontrollable sadness and hunger. The next day, there was no breakfast. So the old man went to visit his lifelong friend, Don Alfonso. The man received him with open arms, and for the first time in his life, he accepted food from him. Dona Gloria served him eggs and chorizo with hot tortillas, and the old man left nothing on the plate. He even asked for more. When he returned home, Pamela was furious and told him they had to talk. Look, Dad, things are going to change here. You can't live without giving a contribution. So I mused how to work so you can eat. Because with your pension, I can hardly pay for basic services. Because with my pension, I can live comfortably alone. So when you like, you and your husband can go home. I can take care of myself, Don Noel replied. You are ungrateful. We're here to take care of you, and you don't go out with this. Whatever you say, we'll stay here. But you're serious about looking for a job, huh? Two days passed, Don Noel, without eating a bite, because his daughter was stubborn not to feed him if they had no money, while she and her husband had their culinary fairies. On the third day, he arrived at the popsicle factory that was a few blocks from his house and begged for the opportunity to sell with an ice cream cart. The owner did not understand why Don Noel was so desperate, but finally agreed to give him that opportunity that he asked so much for the love and great appreciation they had for him. That day, he went out with his popsicle cart. The little bells rang, but no one wanted to buy. At mid-morning, he decided to go to the vicinity of a school, and he gave the results. At the end of the day, he'd sold all the ice creams, and with the money he raised, he bought sugar, milk, and oatmeal so that he could have something stored in the cupboard. The woman was happy because the old man found work, so she explained that now that he works every Friday, he would have to hand over a large amount of money for his food. If he did not carry the established amount, the woman exploded in fury. However, that Friday, in which the sale was bad and she did not meet the stipulated sum, the daughter told him that there was no problem, not to worry, that she gave dinner that she had prepared dessert for him. At the end of the dinner, he handed them some documents to sign, under the pretext that they were to take out insurance. However, the old man did not sign. He told her that without his glasses, he could see absolutely nothing and promised that in the morning they would be delivered signed. The woman and her husband trusted Don Noel and were sure that this document was their passport to happiness. However, they did not count on the fact that the old man still had a spark, and the next day he left his house early with the documents in hand and went directly to a lawyer who was a friend of his. The young man told him that the document was to strip him of the house and that if he signed, his daughter would become the rightful owner. Don Noel got too irritated and was planning to go and claim Pamela, but the lawyer advised him to calm down. The professional prepared a document to ask that the bad daughter evict the house and also another to revoke the power that had been granted to withdraw the Lord's pension. Pamela took the lawyer out of the house and closed all the doors, making it necessary for him to intervene with the authorities. That's why some media arrived, and the woman came out to say that it was her home and not her father's. When the image was broadcast on television, the authorities of another city recognized her, and asked that she be arrested because she had several complaints about depriving elderly people of suspensions, and also of their homes. In fact, Pamela's mother-in-law died of a heart attack when she learned that her son and daughter-in-law had stolen her own home. Pamela and her husband ended up imprisoned and had to pay for the crimes committed thanks to the audacity of Don Noel, who stopped working and lived on his retirement money. While his neighbors were watching out for him, the children who lived abroad brought him a phone and thus were more aware of him. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.